now it's really good because I feel like I can tell the truth and it's like a weight off my shoulders. Like, you know, I rang up the bank the other day to sort out an appointment and, you know, I'm like, oh, well, I'm on Home, da- home D for selling pay and, you know, that's why I'm in this financial situation and blah, blah. And I was at my counsellor's when I said it and she said, do you not care about saying that? And I said, no. Nah. It's better to be honest from the start. I don't have to lie anymore. My life was a big, big fat lie. I gave up after I'd been living with those older men. I sort of moved in with one who started making me do stuff for it. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? And it got really bad. And so I said to my friend, I need help. And she said, sweet, we'll move in with me and we'll get you clean. And it took six months of hell. Like, total hell. You know, she said, you were just like horrible to live with and my attitude I couldn't stay awake it was just, yeah, pretty crap and then I met this other guy and I got engaged and he hated it but I still used to do it every now and then behind his back and the relationship went crap and we broke up and I was like sweet let's get on it and I had a friend who was single and we just spent three weeks and about three grand and just got off our faces. That's, that, I think, like most people that I know have had problems and that's probably why, you know, you don't have to deal with anything. Life's just racing by and you just don't even notice. Well, you've got to feed a habit. So that was sort of the easiest way it was. Like we weren't the main people, like as they said we were, biggest feed dealers, but... Um, we knew the people where to go from and it was mainly just texting between people like, but we were the ones that pretty much always knew where to get it I slept every night at the end every day I slept and I ate like a normal person it did nothing like, you know everyone would say oh you're wasting it why do you smoke so much you're wasting it I'd have a quarter for breakfast and that was just normal it was like a cigarette I'd just continue it like you know if I'd mow the lawn so I'd go and have a puff I've cleaned the car, I'll have a puff. I've done the groceries, I'll have a puff. I hated it. I used to cry myself to sleep most nights and just thinking, I need to fucking stop. But I didn't know how, and because of the amount that I smoked, I thought, fuck it, it's going to take me so long to get over this. And the night before we got arrested, there was me and my partner and someone else in the room, and I said, you know, the police are going to come and get me soon. And I used to actually hope that they would. So it would be over. Just everything was all the time. You know, we didn't have time to do family things or anything like that. But I always wanted those things. And in the last month, John said, you know, I can't be bothered. I don't want to do it anymore. And I said, yeah, but we need the money. And how are we going to do it? You know, we can't survive. We can't live. I've got heaps of debt, you know, ticking up heaps of TVs and all that sort of stuff. My way of looking at it was... I had these sunglasses on, and when I took them off, everything became clear. I I owed 10 grand from all the people that were getting it from me. And they were all my so-called friends who said they would be there and promised John that they would look after me, and they all come back to my house the day after I got arrested, and, oh, sweet, so when are you getting some more? And I looked at them, I said, are you fucking dumb? I don't want anything to do with this. My life was, is over, you know? And I've never seen them again. Um, my partner's family, they've been real good and stuff and just bonded with my family again, really. I mean, I talk to my mum and my partner's mum three times a day, both of them on the phone. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> They're my new friends, my mum's. Yeah, life's drama-free and it's been so good. I don't miss the dramas, I don't miss the people and I don't miss the feeling of it.